एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन इन डेंटिस्ट्री एंड मोर तो दिस टॉपिक इन कंसर्वेटिव डेंटिस्ट्रीज डीएफजी डायरेक्ट फिलिंग गोल्ड सो प्योर गोल्ड व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड एज एन रेस्टोरेटिव मटेरियल सो द मोस्ट नोबल मेटल व्हिच रेयरली टार्निशेस इन ओरल कैविटी सो द बेसिक रेस्टोरेशंस वेयर द गोल्ड कैन बी अप्लाइड इज pits and small class 1 restoration uh, class 2 and class 5 restorations for repair of casting margins and also for the repair of cement vent holes in gold crowns so the vent holes in the gold crowns so it can always stand a bigger masticated force so it is basically used for small class 1 then class 2 and class 5 restorations so this is the classification of uh, dft the basic three category is the foil powder and matte gold so matte gold is the electrolytic precipitate so foil can be a uh, sheet can be cohesive or non cohesive then ropes cylinder uh, laminated ones and the matte gold which is uh, matte type matte foil and alloy this is the first one gold foil so it is the oldest one okay so the oldest one so its manufacture by a cast ingot of 15 mm thickness is beaten to so 15 mm thickness is beaten to a sub microscopic thickness of 15 to 25 micrometer then supplied as flat square sheets of varying thickness like number 4 weight or number 3 weight that is 4 uh, grains and this is 3 grains that means it is 0.259 g this is 0.194 g also it can be in uh, preformed foils that is uh, ropes and cylinders are available in preformed shapes uh, made from number 4 foil that has been carbonized or corrugated okay so carbonized or corrugated that is especially for the ropes and cylinders okay then platinized foil so that i forgot to mention platinized foil so it is pure platinum foil sandwiched between two sheets of pure gold so it is bonded by cladding process so the cladding process where this is sandwiched uh between the sheets of pure gold and it increases hardness because of the platinum and available in number 4 sheets so whereas the cohesive and non cohesive uh, gold the cohesive one so for cold welding gold should have a very clean surface so gold attracts gases and any absorbed gas film prevent cohesion of intim individual increments of gold so cohesive gold is supplied free of contaminants okay whereas a non cohesive one gold is subjected to volatile agents such as ammonia which is absorbed on surface which acts as a protective film so this volatile film uh, can be easily removed by heating so it is uh, rarely used nowadays so the most commonly used cohesive one which is free of any uh, impurities which is having a very clean surface uh, after that uh, we have the second category that was electrolytic precipitate or matte electrolytic precipitate or matte gold 
so the crystalline gold powder is formed by electrolytic precipitation crystalline powder so powder is formed into shapes by sintering that is a heat fusion sintering process heat fusion process so this powder is changed into various shapes so it is uh, available as, as i mentioned matte then matte foil then alloy type so the matte gold it is crystalline formed in strips easy to build up the internal bulk more easily compacted and adapted which results in pitted external surface so covered with a veneer of foil gold whereas a matte foil which is a sandwich of electrolytic precipitated gold powder between sheets of number 3 gold foil uh, actually which is done to eliminate the need to veneer the restoration with a layer of foil so because here we have a veneering of a gold foil layer so to avoid this we keep matte foil that is a sandwich process of gold powder between the sheets of number 3 but anyway this is no uh, no longer marketed the last one is alloyed electrolytic precipitate which is the newest form okay so alloy of gold and calcium gold and calcium so this calcium produces stronger restoration by dispersion strengthening <clears throat> so the alloy is sandwiched between two layers of gold so this calcium will be sandwiched between two layers of gold now the last one we have powdered gold so third category is powdered powdered gold so this is uh, enclosed in number three gold foil uh, which is manufactured by uh, the chemical precipitation or atomizing the metal pellets mixed with soft wax burned off later and wrapped in gold foil so it available as uh, foil acts as an effective container and matrix for the powdered metal then powdered gold petal increases uh, cohesion and reduces the time required for placing it because each pellet contains more metal by volume uh, than the same sized pellet of gold foil so that is the importance of powdered gold it has more metal by volume than the uh, pellet of gold foil so the powdered gold petal have cylindrical or irregular shape and the ratio of gold foil to powder varies from 1 to 3 for small pellets to 1 to 9 for the largest one so how do we manipulate how do we apply this so there are two processes involved so the first process is so the manipulation we have two process the first process is known as degassing degassing and second one is compaction so desorbing or degassing desorbing or degassing so as the name suggests it is the removal of uh, impurities from the surface because during storage and packing of cohesive gold they absorb gases from atmosphere it prevents it uh, from fusing so we can remove it by heating so that process is known as degassing heating done in two ways basically in bulk on a tray by gas flame or electricity or piece by piece in a well adjusted alcohol flame so totally dry cavity needed to allow complete cohesion so the second one uh, is the procedure is known as compaction so the gold may be compacted by hand mallet or by vibratic uh, vibratory condenser vibratory condenser or electrically driven condenser electric condenser 
so what are the properties of a compacted gold so the strength so the greatest strength is the most dense area weakest part it has got porous uh, structure indirect filling gold failure occurs from incomplete cohesion this transfer strength is measure of cohesion whereas a hardness it indicates overall quality or the presence of porosity density of pure gold we know 19.3 gram per centimeter cube so the density less than uh, pure gold because it is not uh, for our dfg it will be less than this pure gold because it is not possible to eliminate voids during the compaction compaction is uh, inavoidable so what is the effect of voids amount of voids estimated by apparent density of compacted gold voids on surface increases susceptibility to corrosion and deposition of plaque so voids at the restoration tooth interface causes gross leakage and secondary caries development and there can also be tarnish and corrosion so resistance to this tarnish and corrosion is good if it is well compacted Biocompatibility. Pulpal response is very minimal if compacted well. This procedure causes a certain amount of trauma to the tooth and supporting structures. So mechanical condensers causes less trauma than the manual technique. So the advantages are the tarnishing and corrosion resistant, good mechanical properties, good biocompatibility. The disadvantages are poor aesthetics, high coefficient of thermal expansion and manipulation also it's very difficult. So that's all about direct filling gold. So short notes are frequently been asked from this topic, direct filling gold, uh, degassing, desorbing and the three types of our uh, direct filling gold, uh, they are the gold foil. Uh, then the powder or matte gold so anything can be asked as a short note so i'll come up with a new topic in uh, consumer video dentistry thank you